WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. You've got the Dow down 629 points. That's uh, nearly 2%. It's 2.25% for the S&P. That's 97 points. The NASDAQ 102 and 6 tenths, or 360 points. Russell 1.8%, 36 points. Semis 3.5%, 112 points. Trend is off 461. You've got gold trading out 30 bucks. 1996.50 is the print. That's 1.5% to the upside. Silver is flat out here, down two pennies. Light sweet crude is anything but flat, up three percent. Uh, but uh, trading out at one nineteen twenty. Thirty-year Treasury up twelve ticks. She's trading at one fifty nine twelve. So let's do this here. Let's go take a look at my nine panel market update chart. We'll begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. What we know about it, and right now it is trading below 42.90. 42.90 is the top of the swing point from February the 24th, I believe it is, 24th or 28th. It is the 24th. When you close below a swing point, uh, if it, this does close below 42.90, suggest a move lower. Now, that move lower would typically be the bottom of that swing point. However, there's a profile level that has a support area that's at 41.78. So you close below 42.90, odds favor you're going to get to 41.78. You move below 41.78, odds favor you're going to to 410175. Spot volatility is still well above its 50 day expense moving average, so that's ripe for the SP or the ES Mini to continue to move lower. The NQ actually closed below the high of its February 28th fourth, uh, swing point on Friday. You're still below that. I don't have a profile level, so this really suggests getting in back and touching or testing or taking out 1302575. That's the swing point low. The US dollar index, we've got the flight to quality. The flight to quality is into the U.S. It's in U.S. currency. It is King Dollar. And if you take a look at King Dollar here, trading out at 99.07, uh, today might be a TD9 count. I don't have the time to do that. But I, I, even if it is, strong move here. We've seen a strong move into 30-year Treasury. That's the same thing as converting into U.S. dollars out here. So you've got that flow of capital coming into at least those instruments. You obviously got the flow of capital uh, moving into uh, gold. She's trading above uh, profiles and likely going to go target its all-time high. Silver, even though it's pulling back today, what you can see that it's doing. Last week, it closed above the top of its weekly profile. That's at 25.59. That's really the level you want to see silver i should say you want to make sure silver continues to trade above that level if it does it remains bullish folks stay tuned your favorite polar bear david white is up next tom o'brien will take us on home i'll be back with you on terrific tuesday have a magnificent day.